For details in San Francisco, police are searching for the person who shot and killed a college student overnight. It happened near Bryant and 24th Streets. The victim, 19-year-old Jacob Valdivieso, was home visiting family during spring break. ABC 7 News reporter Lillian Kim has the latest. Carlos Valdivieso is living a parent's worst nightmare. His 19-year-old son Jacob was shot and killed right in front of their apartment building in the Mission District. Carlos says he heard the gunshots and walked outside to find his son lying on the ground. It hurts. It, it hurts. Mom and dad hurt. The shooting happened just before 3 a.m. when Jacob was walking home with a friend after a night out. San Francisco police say a man got out of a car, asked Jacob if he was in a gang, then shot him several times. Neighbor Luis Salinas saw the whole thing from a distance. Well, he only went for one person only. So he just let her roll, just shot him, shot him, shot him, shot him, took off, and that was it. Friends and family are shocked. They say Jacob wasn't part of any gang and have no idea why anyone would shoot him. We don't know. He wasn't affiliated with gangs or anything. He wasn't even around here. He was here for spring break. Jacob was a sophomore studying economics at Lewis and Clark College in Portland, where he was a wide receiver on the football team. He was also a graduate of Archbishop Reardon High School in San Francisco, where he played sports and graduated with honors. Jacob's former PE teacher at St. Peter's K-8 school came to the side of the shooting to pay his respects. He also brought a basketball in Jacob's memory. He says in addition to being a star athlete and a great student, Jacob was a good person. He and, and, and his, his little best friend were the ones that would stick up for the kids that were getting picked on, make sure everybody had enough of whatever. He was, he was a great little guy. At this point, there is no description of the gunman or the person who drove the car, but neighbors describe the vehicle as a gray four-door sedan. Anyone with information is urged to call the San Francisco Police Department. In San Francisco, Lillian Kim, ABC 7 News. Now